talk about that turban on her head. I'll be like, rag lady, you gon' hurt your neck. Trying to wear them spreads like that. I guess nobody ever told you all those covers go to your bed, your bed, not your head. <laughs> I love Erica, and I love the message in that song, but she'll spook the fuck out you. You know, when people are super intelligent, they will scare the fuck out you when they got all, because she deep, the girl is deep. I went to see her in the House of Blues, she scared the fuck out of me. You know she loved numbers, you know that. She named her son Seven. Now I'm thinking, what you call him for short, Six? Right now he a baby, so I guess he, hey, two, two. But she came on stage in the House of Blues. She got these lights down real low. It looked spooky as shit. She got this turban on and a coat, incense burning, candles lit. I didn't know if the bitch was going to sing a song or cast a spell. I swear to God, I didn't know. I said, don't look at her eyes. Just peek at her. Come on. It's amazing to me how we allow entertainers to be crazy and don't say shit about it. Because you know if Erica worked in the grocery store, you be pushing your cart going to bitch and frozen foods is crazier than a motherfucker. Go look at her. But peek at the bitch. Don't look at her now. I love to fuck with entertainers because a lot of them got those names that you just like to fuck with. Some of them live up to them, some of them don't, you know? Like Big Pun. That was a big man, big fine motherfucker. He was a big guy, so he lived up to his name. Lil' Kim, that's a little bitch. She about this tall. She lives up to her name. Foxy Brown, she just brown. I seen that little heifer up close. I said, who? I looked at that bitch left, right, upside. I ain't seen Foxy on her ass yet. And I love the girl, don't get me wrong, but she just, how you gonna take a name that Pam Greer wore so well and put it on your ass and don't wear it right? You fucking up, Foxy. You know, she might look all right when she get a little older, but right now that little bitch got an acne problem. Oh yeah, she got more bumps than a pickle, I'm telling you now. I ain't saying you ain't Foxy Brown, but if you is, old Foxy needs some Oxy, bitch. That's... <laughs> Fellas, and I know y'all love her because she got the ill na-na. Y'all better quit fucking with that ill na-na. Y'all gonna get a sicky dicky. That's the thing now, you know, this men go to strip clubs now. They like to go, especially all the entertainers, you know, they get all their money and they go to strip club and they pay all these girls for the money. Then they get on the record and holler about, I'm a pimp, I'm a player. No, motherfucker, you a trick? <laughs> See, a lot of men don't understand the difference. Let me tell you something, fellas. There's a few ways to tell if you a trick, okay? If every time you go see your girlfriend, you need change for a 10, you might be a trick. Okay, if your girlfriend nickname is Hot Chocolate, Bubblicious, or Miss Good Head, you might be a trick. Okay, if every time y'all walking down the street, your girlfriend see a pole, she got a swing on that motherfucker, you might be a trick. Now, I could do this all day, but what I did is I wrote me a little song, because I got tired of these bastards falling in love with the dancers and swearing they got the woman of their dreams. So I wrote me a little song to help you understand exactly which side of the game you on. Come on, Chet, hit me with some music so I can explain my song. This is dedicated to all the women that stuck by the motherfuckers before they made money and then they went and married a bitch in a strip club. All right? I want y'all to clap your hands if you know what I'm talking about. Fellas, I want you to listen now. Pay attention. See, first of all, some of you so-called players need to hear this shit. So I'ma keep it real and say what's on my heart. If you gotta pay her for you hit it, you a trick. And you need to know this from the start. See, just think about players never pay for a relationship. Cause they got too much gain. Just think about. What would it be if like you, they just paid a bitch? It would be insane if you got to pay her before you hit it. You ain't no damn player, you might as well quit it. Cause when you pay for coochie, that makes you a trick. Then you wanna get married. Y'all just met last Saturday. Pimp don't have to.
to pay up and they get their pick. And they know that sometimes those heifers get sick. So always wear a condom if you like your dick. Cause that shit's scary. Hit the rap one time. I said, what's going on? Why can't you see? Ain't no player gonna pay a hoe for nothing that's free. Now I done already told you can't take a hoe and make her your wife. But you done gave her the flavings all your life and I don't know why. Now I don't understand how any man can be so confused if she work down at the club and tell you she love you. Don't be no fool. Hey, 